In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to look at three ways to select slides that you want to use to create a slideshow. I have some photographs here of a mission trip, and I'd like to decide how many of them I want into my slideshow and how to populate my timeline accordingly. The easiest option is simply to put all the slides you want into the media room and use them all. Now if I go ahead and highlight any one, like the one I have on the screen, hold the control key down, hit the A key, that will select all of the slides. Then I can simply drag and drop them onto my timeline and now all of them will be used in my slideshow. Now there's some limitations here. I'm going to undo what I did just now to show you what they are. If the slides are ordered in a certain way, that will dictate the order that they will appear in the slideshow. For example, my default is to alphabetize them by name. And so they will automatically appear by the name of the slide. I can click on the box at the top in my library menu and sort them differently. I can sort them by duration, which in this case will not vary at all, or file size, which they should be pretty much identical, or, I, or by date. And if I click by date, I'm going to see a difference here. Not in most of these, but some. For example, I have a slide at the very end called Alpha 2. I just modified it, so the file date on this uh, puts it at the very end. It's the last one that we have uh, arranged for. But if I go back here now and sort the same by name, the last slide is no longer Alpha 2. The la Alpha 2 it comes in right after my numbered slides in the middle, right before the slide starting with the letter D. So you can sort them this way and import all of them but just be mindful that your sort order will determine how they're pulled into your project. So I'll do control A and pull them all in, assuming I've got the sort order that is the order I want them to appear in my slideshow. So that's one way of pulling them all in. First get the sort that you want and then pull them in. If you choose the sort by date, that will give you them in the order in which the photographs were most likely taken, but that may not be what you want. Let me give you another tip here. When you find you have the slide or slides on your timeline, they will have a default duration. And my duration I, in my system is defaulted to five seconds for photos. You can change this to any number you want. However, that will not affect the duration in which the slide appears on the screen when it goes into the slideshow tool inside of PowerDirector. It completely ignores that. So I could set this number to 5 seconds or 55 seconds. It wouldn't matter at all because the slideshow creator takes over and determines how long the slide appears on the screen. And that will vary according to which template you decide to use. We have other lessons we'll, we'll, where we will tell you more about that. So option number one is you just drag in all of the slides. You populate them in your media room and drag them in in whatever sort order that you prefer. Let me give you a second option. If you have all the slides you know, on the screen, you can do a slideshow from some of the slides. For example, if I click on the first slide, now I have a slideshow option and I can do a slideshow of one slide, which probably wouldn't be very interesting, but you could do that. The other option is I can go ahead and, and click on more than one slide. I can hold the arrow and drag across contiguous slides. Right now I've selected six of them. So now if I do a slideshow, let's go ahead and pretend we're doing one. I'll click on the slideshow tool here. We'll just go for the cell option here. I'll click next and it will try to create it. And I'll click next again. And now it says I imported six photos and used all six. So that's how you can do a subset of those. We're going to cancel out of that. 
What you cannot do is take one slide and click on it, hold the control key down, and highlight another slide. You notice I do not have an option above my timeline here uh, for slideshow when I'm doing non-contiguous slides. I can choose contiguous slides in the middle of a presentation. And now I could make it off of these six slides or at the beginning or at the end. But if I'm going to use slides that are already in my timeline and I don't want to use the entire timeline, I have to make sure that they're next to each other in order to have the slideshow creator effectively use them. The other option we have, I'll hold the control key down, hit the A key down, press my delete key, uh, is that we can handpick the slides that we want in our slideshow and make our own order. For example, I could drag this one down to be my first slide, this one my second slide. I can say, well, the third one should be this one and the fourth one over here. So you can determine your own order by individually selecting items that you have in your media room. And that's one of the ways in which you can uh, customize it to fit whatever you want to do. So those were the very varied and different ways in which you can populate your timeline as you prepare to use the slideshow tool in CyberLink PowerDirector. We'll give you more about the details of the tool in other tutorials.